Hey everyone! Today I'm going to take a quick look at the Duji S80. People have been asking me to review Chinese phones for a while, but honestly, so many other YouTube channels are doing it, I wasn't that interested. Also, phones are a bit boring now, they all look the same and do the same things, just slightly better or worse depending on the cost. Duji built their reputation on very low cost phones. The sort of phone you buy for a teenager or if you lose a lot of phones. Good value, but not high end. But I've had the Duji marketing team on my WeChat for a while and they kept insisting they have something interesting and a bit different. So I finally came and they sent a review unit. Other than getting the phone, this review is not compensated in any way. I didn't even agree to review the phone if they sent one. I just actually thought it was worth showing to you. So this is the Duji S80. Absolute unit. I'm in awe at the size of the thing. You, you aren't going to be slipping this in your custom tailor office clothes. But that being said, it's not the size for that. So put comparison to slick flagship phones aside, it's apples and oranges. It's IP68, so basically waterproof, shockproof, cold, all that. It has an absolutely huge battery, 10,000 mAh, and it has built-in walkie-talkie. We'll get to that in a bit. Incidentally, the button feels amazing, solid in your hand, and great clicking. Here, listen. Maybe it's just me, but I love nice clicky buttons. It weighs about 395 grams, which is a lot. But for comparison, I normally carry my OnePlus 5 with a 10,000 mAh battery, which weighs slightly more. That's just me though. I would rather have the battery life. Weight is never my main concern, since I carry my phone in my bag anyway. Those of you with pockets, it may be a bigger deal. And if anyone messes with you, So on the back, there is a sensor for fingerprint. There's not much to see, it's basically stock Android Oreo, which is great, no weird skin or anything. It comes with Google service and all that, it's all installed and like some Chinese phones. Now let's go into Instagram. It's snappy and responsive, which frankly, I care about it more than specs. Now let's go to YouTube and I was checking on my friend's video. No. In this video I'm talking about 3D printer scams and why you guys need to stop falling. Okay, so the built-in speaker is very really loud. If that's a feature for you, it's great. For it, let's get started. Yep, it is very loud, but it's good when I watch video I can just, you know, play it loud in my room and nobody can hear it, which is okay. So it does not have a headphone jack, but it comes with an adapter for the USB-C jack. So far it has worked fine. Now I'm using the back camera and this is the front camera. The camera is solid. If you need to document something, it's crisp and clear. But if you're trying to be pretty, this is obviously not the tool for the job. And the camera is manufactured by Samsung. One of the things that makes the phone cool and kind of cyberpunk is it also has a built-in amateur radio. It uses the European DMR standard. It's a serious radio, not like a kid's walkie-talkie or something. So as far as I know, you need a license to use it in the US. But I'm told it's pretty simple to get. There's a physical push to talk button on the side. Hello, hello. It looks pretty interesting. So there are some hardware hackers working on reverse engineering it and seeing what else it can do. If you don't plan on using it, you can just unscrew the antenna. The engineers at Duji were nice enough to send me the actual manufacturing cap file for the S80. And it made it so much easier than having it uh, having to draw everything from scratch. 
I can just copy it right off the original file. So any accessories I want to make in 3D print, you know, it's right there. So I'm going to post those files for you in Thinkiverse. So you can make your own clip if you want to make some accessories for your phone. And what I'm doing is I'm making a wrist mount and it's based on a strap from a commercial wrist mount. It's a mobile computer. I will put the link to the page so you know what part number it is in the description box. So this is just Tinkercad. It's a free CAD program. Anybody can use it. It is designed for kids. I still use it for lots of stuff. Even though I do like MOICAD, which is the other CAD program you saw me use before. But Tinkercad is really simple. So I'm just going to show you in this program how to add something to the phone case. I'm ready to print and I export it as an STL file because that's what the slicer accepts. I'm just gonna drop it in the slicing program, get it ready for the 3D printer. And now I'm printing it on my Creality 3D CR10S. You can see a little bit of the support failed, but it doesn't matter because the print still turned out fine and there was more than enough support. you're thinking. Naomi, you look absolutely ridiculous with that thing. Well, yes, true, but that does not mean I can appreciate it. It's great at what it's designed for. An environment where a regular flagship phone would get destroyed. In workshop, construction, or emergency service environment, it would be perfect. If I don't carry it every day, it's getting put in my go bag. Shenzhen is pretty safe, but we do get typhoons and stuff. A waterproof phone with a battery that lasts for days and its own radio is unbeatable in a natural disaster. I would probably fill it up with emergency first aid guides and offline maps. If you live someplace where this is a concern or just have the sort of lie where emergencies come up where you can be worried about phones dying, breaking, whatever, this would be a great investment. If you wear a suit or something, it's a little silly, I think. But for racket and outdoor work, emergency workers, or as an emergency phone, this would be amazing. If that's you and you're interested, I will put the buy link in the description box. That's it for today. Please consider supporting. It's only $5 and gives you access to my video 7 to 10 days before anyone else. If that's not an option, that's totally okay. Please just subscribe, we post my content on social media and tell your friends. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.